Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Nobe. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday, wherever you are. We're still on with the infighting within Zimbabwe's mainstream opposition party, that is the Citizens Coalition for Change, led by advocate Nelson Chamisa. Uh, just to get you up to grips with what is happening, you will remember that on the 3rd of October, a man popped up by the name Sengizo Chawang and he wrote to the Speaker of Parliament seeking the recall of 15 members of Parliament and some councillors who were elected under a triple C ticket. He said they had ceased to be members of the political party on whose ticket they were elected into parliament and he therefore sought their recall. He didn't state any reasons as to why and how those members had ceased to be members of the party, but he sought their recall. And the following day, the Speaker of Parliament, that is Advocate Jacob Mutenda, who is of Sanupiev, of course, uh, published a, a, a notice to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission stating that vacancies had arisen in the respective constituencies where Chabangu had recalled um, members of Triple C in his capacity as the interim secretary general of the party. We don't know yet the legalities, whether he does have the local standi to do that or to call himself the interim secretary general of the party. But what we know is that the Speaker of Parliament responded and recalled people that Chawang had sought to be recalled. He also sent letters, that is the Speaker of Parliament, to the chief election officers in the respective provinces, advising that those members had ceased to be members of Parliament. He also wrote to those particular members, to the respective members, stating that they ceased to be members of Triple C, and therefore they ceased to be members of parliament because they had been recalled. So what happened is that yesterday, or is it the day before? No, that is yesterday. There was chaos in parliament with Triple C members fighting in solidarity with their members who had been recalled, saying that they don't know any Sengiz Ochabang who is ostensibly or reportedly their secretary general, interim secretary general, they only knew Nelson Chamisa as the only party leader. So chaos erupted until some members of Triple C were pushed out by the police, six of them, that is. And the Speaker of Parliament followed that on by declaring that those six were taken out by the police would be suspended for a period for six sittings. Uh, and dogged two months pay. So that means that they won't be available for the next six sittings of parliament. But you'll also know that the standing rules of parliament state that if a member of parliament is absent for three consecutive sittings, they cease to be members of parliament. So we don't know if this uh, doesn't apply where members have been suspended like there's been done by the speaker but we know what we know is that there is a, a serious calculation by zanu pf to have a toothless majority and they can only attain that by having by elections and winning in at least 10 uh parliamentary i mean parliamentary seats so we don't know uh if this new halapalu is going to benefit them one way or the other because what we know is that members of triple c have taken this to court their recalls and the matter is going to be taken to court but our fear again is that the court might rule that there is no substantive structure in the party will know that the party doesn't have membership cards so there might be uh, another problem there in which we might see the opposition that is the mainstream the mainstream opposition party triple c being dissected as happened to the FTC alliance which was also being led by advocate nelson chamisa now there have been questions as to whether triple c does have a, an interim secretary general or a, a secretary general but what we know is that 
when a party is registered, they must furnish the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission with their constitution. Uh, they must also furnish them with their local and party colors, and also at least three senior members or senior officials of the party. Usually, it's supposed to be the president, the secretary general, and the treasurer, but we don't know in this instance what Triple C or whose names Triple C furnished the uh, the ZEC that is the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission with, and also you will know that they must submit their constitution, and this constitution which they submitted will be the basis on which a court decision will be made. So it's going to be a long protracted battle. We don't know as yet what is going to happen. But also what happened is, yesterday you'll know that we reported that uh, Chaba had hit back again by uh, expelling advocate Nelson Chamisa from Triple C. Well, what later happened is that he said that, he later claimed that it was a fake letter which did not come from him, but it's very, very um, sinister because uh, in that letter, he had stated that um, or whoever, the wrote, whoever wrote the letter, if we give him the benefit of the doubt, if we give Chabang the benefit of the doubt, the person who wrote the letter said the party is now being led by Professor Welshman Nube and Advocate Tendai Beatty. Then soon after, we saw a tweet uh, by BT himself, that was a post on uh, on X, uh, stating that he was not in charge of any political party, was not president of any political party. He said also that his name should be kept out of the mess, and that his um, privacy and yeah, his privacy must be respected. But then later on, an audio that we are going to leave you listening to surfaced in which. Uh, it was supposedly a phone call between BT and uh, another member of the party, which was for some reasons recorded. And we will leave it to you to determine if this could have led to the U10 by Chabang or indeed the letter that uh, supposedly expelled Chamisa from the party was from him. So we'll leave you listening to that, but don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to tweet. Yeah, I'm going to tweet and say I'm not the president of anything. Yeah, yeah I'm going to tweet. Yeah, all right. Yeah, well, so, so just tell him that I'm going to tweet. I've been looking for you, brother. So I find you on this phone. You find me on this phone. We need to talk. With, I, I feel that you've been premature with Munanga Kapera Ego. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.